In this episode, I'll show you how to create a spray painted stencil effect. I'm Mark Spencer from RippleTraining.com. Welcome to Motion Magic, where you'll learn visual effects and motion graphics in under five minutes. I'm starting with a standard motion project, which contains an image of a brick wall. Now, I'll press T for the text tool, click in the canvas, type stencil, and press escape. Since I know the font I want, instead of dragging through the list in the heads up display, I'll press Command T for the font picker, search for the stencil font, select it, and choose a size. You can get your own stencil font on fontscroll.com or myfonts.com. I'll center the text. For the stencil paper, I'll press R for the rectangle shape, draw a rectangle over the word, press Escape, make sure the outline is off and the fill is on, and then give the shape some color. To cut the letters out of the paper, I'll use the object menu to add an image mask, drag the text to the well, and invert the mask. To add some separation between the stencil and the wall, I'll select the shape, enable the drop shadow in the HUD, and adjust it. I'll right-click the shape to select the drop shadow tool and move it over a bit. Then return to the Transform tool. For the spray paint, I'll select the Bezier tool, click to create a path over the stencil, press Return to complete the path, choose a red color, then from the Shape Style pop-up menu, choose Basic Airbrush. In the Shape Inspector, in the Style pane, I'll increase the width and decrease the spacing to make the paint more dense. In the Stroke pane, I'll increase the jitter so the path isn't so unnaturally smooth. To animate the stroke, I'll go to the Behavior Shortcut menu to select Right On and trim it to about two seconds by pressing O. To peel the spray painted stencil off the wall, I'll put the shape and the paint stroke in their own group. Then I'll use the filter shortcut to select Distortion Page Curl. Now when I scrub the project, there isn't any paint on the wall. So I'll select the paint stroke, press K to make a clone layer, and drag the clone out of the group above the wall. Now all the paint is on the wall, so I'll add an image mask to the clone, drag the shape to the mask well, invert the mask, and reactivate the shape. That's the basic effect. In this enhanced project, I've added a colored spotlight, a couple of static page curls, a spray can, and an extra image mask for a little more realism. You can download this project for free by clicking the link below. Click the subscribe button below, and please leave us your comments and suggestions for future topics. Go to RippleTraining.com for fast professional training on Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, and DaVinci Resolve from industry professionals.